hey you guys back again with another video good morning good afternoon good evening good day how's everybody doing i hope y'all doing well this is going to be a short video welcome welcome to my new and returning subscribers if you haven't subscribed subscribe and give this video a thumbs up y'all like i said this is not going to be a long video i'm just showing y'all that when i make my home fries the trick is when you cut up your onions and your green peppers, cut up your potatoes too and throw the potatoes in right after you throw the onions and the green peppers in so it can cook together. You know, season it and everything. Let it cook for seven minutes. Then after that, throw it in the oven for like 15 minutes. Add some um chicken broth to the mix. Yes, y'all. Add some chicken broth and then let it cook in the broth you know and of course season your your onions your green peppers your potatoes season that too that's a um a pork chop right there in the middle smack in the middle and i made some egg white scrambled eggs i threw some um heavy cream in it some pepper black pepper and this is my um cheese grits so brown rice cheese grits so i'm having pork chops home fries scrambled egg whites and um some brown rice cheese grits this right here wow that's my son's pancake now that's big so this is not gluten free this is the aunt your mama i'm gonna always call it aunt your mama i don't care if they change the name a million times when i when i you know started eating pancakes it was aunt your mama so it will always be aunt your mama to me so yeah so it cooks faster. Back to this. It cooks faster. It's still cooking, y'all. You know, I flipped it, you know. It's all in the wrist, y'all. Flipping the big a big pancake is all in the wrist, you know. But, um, yeah, so I cook. I seared my pork chops five minutes on each side because it was frozen. If it wasn't frozen, three minutes on each side. Then I took it out this pan and I let it sit on a um, paper towel and let it rest for 10 minutes. In the meanwhile, in the meantime, in between time, while the, the pork chop was resting, I had, um, I, I, I put more oil in this cast iron pan and I cut up, I had my onions and my green peppers and my potatoes cut up. As soon as it, you know, when it got hot up, you know, hot again, you know. Um, I mean, it was still hot, but, you know, I poured oil in it. And when, when the oil started doing a little popping, I added the salt, the, um, not salt, the onions, the green peppers, and the potatoes. And I let it, you know, I see, add some seasonings in it. I added a little adobo to it. I added my little, um, my homemade seasoning, all-purpose seasoning to it. I, of course, I added some parsley. Oh, let's check on this. And then I let it cook for seven minutes. After the seven minutes was up. Um, I, I made some space in the middle for the pork chop. I poured some, um, wait, no, first I poured some, um, what they call that? Chicken broth in it. Then I added the pork chops on top and then right there. And then I put it in, you know, my oven right here for 15 minutes and boom, bam, it's good. Now let's see. Oh, I smell it. Okay. This was, oh, I was like, how was I going to flip this? Mm-mm. Ooh, ooh, <gasps> he going to get me. All right, y'all. Ooh. Ooh. See, y'all? We going to flip it. Look, it's all in the risk. It's all in the risk. All right, y'all. It's not. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to let y'all go. That's it. Just wanted to show y'all, you know, because I remember I did a video before and it took a long time for the potatoes to get soft. The trick is throw it in the oven. Mm-hmm. If you can. But yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, you guys. Help my channel grow. And I'm making him some tea as well. But um, he's only going to get half of this pancake. Because I know he's not going to sit there and eat this whole thing. So I'm going to cut it in half. And um, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it, y'all. All right, y'all. You have a blessed, safe, wonderful day. 
God bless. Love you all. See y'all in the next video.